I wrote a riff using chords for the first time and it's also the most complex riff I've ever written. The key of today's riff is a Phrygian dominant and the tempo of today's riff is gonna be somewhere around 110 to 130 BPM. Now let me explain the riff to you. So I have drop A on the guitar, it's the root note of the key of a Phrygian dominant and first up I'm playing the C sharp, chuck and the A and then play A and C sharp, then I'm playing this which is technically not a chord because it's made up of only two singular notes but don't worry, later on I have some chords so after I play the chord for the first time I chuck this which is A then an octave up A and then C sharp and it sounds very cool and after that I have this thing which is an arpeggio played with the notes overlapping so and this already is A chord we have the A C sharp E and A it sounds very major but also dissonant and that's because this C sharp and this D are only one half step apart and then we transition to the second part which revolves more around D and F so I'm playing it's the same rhythm and note grouping as in the first part so the riff has kind of a multi I'm playing the D then D F and then this chord which is made up of the notes A D and F which is the normal minor chord but it's an inversion of it then I'm transitioning to this chord which has the notes E, G and A it's an E minor but instead of the perfect fifth we have a perfect form then I'm transitioning to this minor second interval all together it sounds like this playing this chord again I'm transitioning to this very dissonant G minor but instead of the perfect fifth I have this A so it's made up of the notes G, A sharp and A it's super dissonant and I absolutely love it so I'm transitioning to a minor second interval again and it's the A and A sharp now let's do the drums synths and bass for the riff yeah, so now we're ready to start. Let's add addictive drums over here. I'm gonna start with the kick as always. Okay, the cymbals and the snare are way too loud. As always, I'm gonna try doubling the cymbals and let's see what it does. I think it'll sound totally awful. It's like way too much now. And what are we gonna do with this? I kinda don't like this snare over here. Let's try moving it over here. 
All right. I like the drums I've made. Now, let's do the bass. Yay, it didn't crash. Let's copy what the bass is doing in the first part to the second part because like the guitar stays the same, only the drums are changing. Now let's do the synths. In the synths I'm thinking of some basic chords from this preset, it sounds great. So this is a basic A major chord, but I'm gonna put this third up an octave and it sounds a lot better. I have a cool idea and that's that I'm gonna play the exact same chords only that they'll be in versions. Yeah, let's try it. So, we have this, then starting from the E, going to the C sharp, and then to the A, and then we have the C sharp, A, and E. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, I like this a lot, it's kinda cool that you have only three notes and different inversions and it makes this kind of a sound. I don't want this over here. Alright, these synths are kinda great, I like them. So, now we gotta mix it and let's start by separating the drums, as always. No, don't tell me it crashed again. It's just frozen and it does completely nothing. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll get back to you when I fix it. So, it's up and running again. Let's add the EQ for the guitar now. I, again, want just a high pass and a low pass. Now let's EQ the snare. Okay, so I like it this way. Now for the cymbal. Now let's hear the full riff. wasn't exactly easy to learn for me because I haven't done any riff with chords yet. Today's one was the first one and I think it turned out great. And now make sure to watch this video. I'll see you then. Goodbye.